And also we organize education for teachers in our place. Right, gotcha. Also we can make some more statues there to make similar space. But now there is not not many many works because everybody has taken their works to home. So this is a classroom for arts and crafts and design school. They have a special classroom for that. They study very traditional things like what do you say? Would we with this? Uh, yeah, we yeah, weaving, yes. Mm -hmm. With these traditional uh, mm -hmm. things. But also something that is very modern and contemporary, combining uh, visual arts and, and arts and crafts. But uh, we have just finished the wonderful lecture beside the gallery. Sorry, you cannot see it because they, they make so wonderful things in this in this school. So, but now it's not so much to see. But combining traditional and contemporary in this teaching. For example, this one, the uh, white one in the in the you know, other wall, is something what is quite contemporary, modern, and combining uh, traditional techniques and so on. And children come here in the age of seven, and they <coughs> stay here in, to the age of nineteen. And in a visual arts school, they can start already at uh, age of four and uh, finish in age of. 18. And there are some, some children that have really come here in the age of four, and they have had the same teacher all the time. And you know, it's quite a special thing. It's not the same as the teacher and pupil relation in the primary school. It's a special, special relationship because, in a way, many, many of those uh, earlier students say that they can um, handle. So there are just some examples. We had uh, in the gallery, we had a uh, big exhibition about dreams and dreaming. And then we just pick from our archive some some pieces that are mm -hmm. let, we let them out these works and we like uh, hospital yeah. sand dictators and something art. This works on the walls. Because this is a really treasure uh, archive. You can find anything here. Just name it. We have made the keyword to the archive and we can so uh, make some different. We can start, see some examples here. But let's go through this archive. We can take away this. this. An art co op sort of or something? Like a, Sorry. Uh, and maybe like an art co op? Yeah, like that, yes. They have those uh, arts and crafts schools all over the Finland. This is one of the organizations. So we get money from three different...
Finnish is one, and uh, second is uh, English or German or French. Uh, third one is uh, math, and the fourth one is one. One of the, um, uh, for example, history, philosophy. Uh, yes. Yeah. Four subject is uh, they have to write, but after that, after them, they can write more subject. Um, uh, for example, uh, yes, uh, they do uh, work with laptop. It's easier to. Yes. Okay. So we were texting the whole time. So yeah, maybe we can also just. Like, uh, what are you doing? Can, what do I need to bring? And I was like, here's the teachers. Do teachers have their own office or only a classroom? Win the lottery. And I won the lottery. It was pretty neat, I gotta say. One year. We have. No, it wasn't really. It was a really good. More. And it smells like a gym in here, right? The church There you go. Welcome, and we start with uh, our, our students, but in this case they belong to my family. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here uh, we go ladies first, we say in Finland, even uh, to the thin eyes. So Aino is here, Aino is 13 years old, then Enno and Ule. Ule Enno is soon 11, and, and Ule is uh, soon 15. And they all go uh, to school in uh, Riihimäki, it's found next to us. And yeah, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Lasse Luostarinmäki and I'm principal in this school. 
And uh, why I ask uh, these youngsters here is because uh, Enno and Uwe, they are Germans. And they moved here last uh, July. Good teacher. How, how is that teacher teaching that is, makes it so good? Yeah, did you get the answer? What kind of teacher is a good teacher? Um, oh, a teacher that encourages you to learn the subject. Okay, I know what is your opinion? What kind of teacher is the best one? Um, I think it would have to be uh, a nice one, just friendly, and it can have also wood, but not really awful wood, but it can be It can be what? That, that, I mean, doesn't it have to be a kind of awful question, I mean, awful, um, of the rules, but there should be also some rules that you know. So, okay. ah, you, mean, you mean that the teacher keeps um, keep the order in class? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. Und Sie können auch auf Deutsch sprechen und vielleicht kann ich das auch auf wow. Englisch. <laughs> <laughs> the same language area, Anglo Saxon. Yeah. <laughs> what might be your favorite subject and why? Math. Okay. Yeah. Because, Why because it's interesting and it's uh, many kind of things mm -hmm. how you can um, make it um, um, ready. Um, we got the last relevant. Relevant. Uh, Calculating. Yes, yeah. You mean there are many roads to the, yeah. the right yeah. answer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Um, my favorite subject is sport because you can move <laughs> and I like to. <laughs> History was one of my interests. There we go. Great <laughs> yeah. And inside it's only for you that one likes mathematics, one likes sport. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I know. You. You. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have a favorite project? Oh, there aren't too many projects in the Finnish school system as far as oh. we are concerned. Mm -hmm. So we haven't really done any big projects yet. So what does the school day look for you like as a student? Do, does the teacher like stand up and lecture and you take notes? Or are you up moving around doing book stations? Or how does that, like what do you all do as a student in, in the class? typical class? Did you get the answer? Okay. Mostly we just take notes and write. <laughs> that, that changes from day to day. Yeah. And uh, since I am in two different classes, one in a normal Finnish class and another one in a Finnish learning class, it's not really a normal school that I experience. What is the difference between those two? Yeah. The difference is that um, I have uh, easier subjects in the Finnish learning class, which are all uh, mostly depending on learning the Finnish language with with different subjects, okay. mostly Finnish, and the other one is just normal. Okay. Okay. Question? So do you sometimes in your class have a student who you feel is not listening to your teacher, misbehaving while you're trying to <laughs> <laughs> How do you, how do you, what, what, what is your reaction with that? And how does your teacher handle it? And what would you like your teacher to do about the situation? Because sometimes we have kids that are here to learn, and the other kids just wasting our time because they're just good for enough, right? <laughs> but what they tell you now, it's only yeah. three, Mackie. Well, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> well, I think there are always some students that misbehave in every class. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, in my opinion, it always depends if a student is just uh, being doing stupid things and not learning, well, it's okay until they uh, start doing stuff that prevents other ones from learning. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And what do you do at that point? If that happens, uh, most of the time they will be sent out by the teachers. Okay. Mm. Okay. Does that work? Do they stop? Most of the time, yes. Okay. Is that your experience, too? The... Um. My one are a little bit different because I were already in trouble with he and Finnish, but um, <laughs> I think it's about the same. <laughs> yeah. Aya, what do you think? Mm, I have the same outcome like what? Okay. 
How much do you have homework? And if you do, how much homework do you have? I have really much homework. I do uh, like four hours. Oh, wow. sometimes. What, what every, type every of homework is that? Is it like doing math problems, or is it reading a book and taking notes and memorizing math? Facts? Because we have also uh, exercises in internet, mm -hmm. and we have to do it. And if you don't do, you don't get so good um, numbers. Do you feel like that's too much homework, or a good amount, or not uh, enough? I would I would think that's a good amount of homework or is that too much? Um our teacher trains um in the middle of a uh, school year and um it was first a little bit too much because we made uh four hours homework easily. But now it was it um, when the school ended. It wasn't so much anymore. Okay. Well, as a matter, a matter of fact, we, we asked our students in the school um, in this spring how much they have to work at home, and the average was was between uh, 15 minutes and half an hour. Oh, so okay. it's really much um, up to the teacher. Yeah, this is much more average. Yeah. All the schools that we've been visiting, my kids' experience, yeah. my own experience. So. It's really interesting. Do you is it um, is it somehow a special class? Is it long mathematics that is giving you more? I think it was just normal. Um, it's just normal. Yeah. Uh, but uh, huh. we was having um, our last teacher didn't um, uh, made so much homeworks, and we was a little bit late for um, every every subject. Mm -hmm. So it was also one reason why we had to teach. Why do you do so much uh, homeworks? What about the other two? Do you have about 15 minutes, 30 minutes? Or? Um, I think I have a little less, of course. I do my work so fast that I can, so... <laughs> Five minutes? Five minutes? <laughs> is, it, is it just like worksheets? I also record. It's 27 seconds for a mathematic homework. <laughs> <laughs> So I haven't seen Enno so often with books. Personally, I would say half an hour to an hour, depending on the day, but mostly finish homework. Do you feel like that's a good amount? I'm, I'm curious, just because we hear so much research on homework and what's good and what's bad, I'm curious what your, what your thoughts are. I think homework doesn't make too much sense, but <laughs> not too much homework. But in my case, I have to learn Finnish, so doing Finnish stuff at home should be the case. Uh -huh. yeah. It's what I should do. Yeah. Yeah. How did the school system welcome you coming from another country? Um, and and help you integrate into the community. I would say really good. Okay. I mean, for me, it was good. Mm -hmm. What was that? Something that they did that was special. Um, it was special that they have um, speak also English with me, and they were so friendly. And the teacher have also welcomed me nice and have said yes in the class and how you do it, the things. Um. And first three hundred days, they study English in in a special class. And then they, after that, they <coughs> integrated the oh, regular first classes. First 30 days, is that First 300 days. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Finnish and Finnish culture, first 300 days. So that's a year. Yes, that's a year. I can just agree with what my brothers just said. It was very hard, hardly and welcoming. Mm. Mm. Um, how well, like, how well did you... What helped you learn Finnish the best? Was it just these classes? And like, how comfortable are you in f speaking Finnish now? Like, with, Do you still speak English with the friends at school, or do you mostly speak Finnish with them now? Mm, for me, it's Finnish. I mean, I try to speak much Finnish with my friends, but sometimes I say something like um, uh, words, I mean, Finnish sentence, one English word. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly speak English. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did what? What was your reaction when you learned you would be moving from Germany to Finland? Like, were you um, excited? Had you heard something about schools here, or like, were you wanting to come to school here, or was it a difficult decision? And or I guess it wasn't your decision, right? <laughs> 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 or 
or is it not a good, with Lassie here, it's not a good question to ask? <laughs> it's fully okay, it's fully okay. <laughs> we, we, we talk about these things at home. <laughs> but it was obviously a big change. Yeah. And no, at that point, I haven't heard of the school system. Mm -hmm. Were there any, what we would call, culture shock? Oh. Things that people, or your, like your friends and people back home wouldn't do or would do very differently that you're kind of like, oh, this is, this is really unusual? Or anything that made you kind of uncomfortable that you weren't used to? N nothing shocking, but like, they don't speak so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they mostly keep to themselves. Okay. And in Germany that's not the case? No, in Germany we talk. <laughs> I've already shown them the Finnish Nightmares book that was yeah. on, the, uh, on the design tour. It's all true. Yeah, we have t-shirts and it says, the, the smiley says, no, I'm not depressed, I'm Finnish. <laughs>
and we have meetings in each country. I just. Thank you. 